Uh, hello and welcome to uh, a new weekly segment that I might be doing. Uh, I'm Lloyd from Blackpool Air Rifles and we've got some new products to show you this week that have come into the shop. Uh, right, let's get the little bits out of the way. Uh, first one we've got is the new flip target. You've probably seen this on Facebook already, you've probably seen it on the website, you've probably seen it absolutely everywhere. So I'm not going to spend an awful lot of time explaining. Uh, but it's like a really cool little target. There's a video on the, our, um, our website as well if you want to watch it in action. Cool little target, uh, flips over, easy to connect, made out of this like super space age polymer. Uh, £22.95 looks like a lot of fun. Um, we're already selling a lot of these. So if you want to know more, take a look at the website. Right, that's that one done. Uh, next thing we've got is we've got the new Python. Uh, it's actually made by Umrex, called Python, made under licence. Uh, it is a six shot ball bearing repeater, uh, runs off CO2 bulbs and I'll quickly get it out of the box and show you, instead of me just blabbing on all the time. Uh, as you can see there, well we've got the instructions and we've got a nice little warranty card from the importer okay. which is Armex. Uh, you can see inside we've got the pistol itself, uh, all metal. Apart from the grips, which are plastic, looks really nice. Very, very good replica, actually. I'm going to point that. Obviously, I'll make sure it is unloaded. Okay, but as you can see, they've done a really good job on the front end. Uh, nice cylinder, super little gun. And what it comes with is you've got the little speed loader style. Well, that's a speed loader, uh, and you've got these little cartridges that take the ball bearings. That. Ball bearings go into the front of the cartridges. Cartridges go into the speed loader. Speed loader goes into the pistol and Bob's your uncle. Uh, and the CO2 bulb goes into the grip. Really nice looking replica, like I say. All brand new. They're doing a two and a half inch, they're doing a four inch, and I think there's going to be, well, there is going to be a nickel one coming, but I think that's a four inch as well. Uh, got those in stock now. More information on our website, which is www.airgunbuyer.com, as you probably already know. Okay, so that's the Python. And the real, oh, tell you what, clean up as you go along. That's what my mum always used to say. And now to the biggie. All for LGU. Very nice. Hello. Now, I'm not going to do a 20 minute unboxing session because it's really boring. Not really, you don't want to see me spending ages opening this, that, and the other and blabbing on about it. You just want to see what's inside. Uh, I mean, obviously, you do get, uh, again, made, uh, imported by Armex, made by Walter, with a little instruction manual. And this is the puppet. The new LGU, silent spring technology, uh, very very well finished as you can see, the blue in is absolutely superb and a big improvement on the LGV in my opinion, the LGVs when they came out they were showing a lot of uh, machining marks, poor quality cloudy blue in, the trigger wasn't particularly well set up from the factory. I personally thought that the LGV wasn't as good as it could have been for, for Watford. I was actually quite disappointed, people know that. It hasn't sold very well, it was too expensive, um, and it just didn't feel right. Uh, the LGU is different in quite a few respects. Like I say, you've got much, much better quality finish, really nice bluing, it's underlever. Uh, obviously, uh, in my opinion, the stock is a lot better. We have actually already tested one of these things, and we found that the trigger unit is considerably better set up from the factory. It doesn't mean to say it's a better unit; it's not, uh, but it's set up out of the box a lot better. Uh, you can see that it's got a built-in silencer. It's quite heavy. Um, now I can't remember the weight offhand, to be honest with you. I should have done some more research before I started this video off, but I think it's around about nine pounds. Um, if you go onto our website, you will find that we will actually weigh the gun and give you the exact uh, weight instead of uh, manufacturer's quoted claims. But yeah, it's about nine pounds. So it's a fairly heavy gun. Absorbs a lot of recoil, obviously, because of that. Um, it's meant to be tuned from the factory. Um, 
I would say that this is going to sell really, really well, whereas the LGV didn't, to be honest with you. The massive, massive thing about this, uh, which is, is, is pretty impressive, to be honest with you, and I have no idea how I'm meant to manage to do this, but the retail on it is three four nine ninety five. Um, don't get me wrong, it's not cheap, but it is not expensive and it's considerably cheaper than the old GB. So anyway, uh, what we're going to do with this, we're going to do a proper write-up in the, maybe a couple of weeks' time. Might compare it with the old GB, but definitely we'll compare it against its competitors, which in my opinion will be the Air Arms TX200 and the HW97. Um, that's the market that Walther are going after. I think they uh, they are wise to do that, um, you know, because a lot of people who shoot Springers aspire to the 97, they aspire to the TX200. So this is definitely going to be in with a shout. Whether it's as good or not, we don't know yet. But anyway, that's you can see that's the LGU. We've got them in stock now. They're on the website for sale. Um, we've st we've got plenty left over at the moment because we haven't advertised them until we got them. Uh, we, I wanted to make sure personally that I was happy with the fit and the finish before we decided that they were, they were worth selling. Uh, in my opinion, the fit and finish is uh, absolutely super, 349 quid, and we'll let you know more as time goes on. The other thing is, as well, is we might do this probably a little bit more professionally from now on. This is just a really a bit of a sample to see whether it works or not, but we might actually start doing these weekly sort of sessions where we unbox all the latest stuff that we get in because there's lots of gear coming in all the time. In fact, actually, 2014 so far has been an amazing year for new products. Um, and I'd like to thank Armex in particular for bringing a lot of these products in from Germany, from Numerex. Uh, they really do seem to be stepping up the game. They're, they're, they're certainly on the ball and we've had some fantastic new pistols and it looks like we're going to get quite a few nice new rifles as well. So it's all good news. Uh, anyway, uh, like I say, I'm Lloyd from Black Bull Air Rifles. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, maybe put some comments um, below about what you think about it, whether you think um, this is a good idea, what we need to improve, etc, etc. And I will speak to you soon. Thank you very much.